The first step that we want to complete when we're asked to factor a polynomial is to factor out any greatest common factors that exist. So for this example, I have a polynomial where I have three different terms, and I see in the three terms there are a lot of common factors that exist between them. And I want to find the greatest common factor that's between those three terms. Now sometimes just looking at the terms horizontally, it's not as easy to see what the greatest common factor is um, as opposed to looking at them stacked vertically. So what I'm going to do is take each of these three terms one at a time off to the side and I'm going to stack them vertically so that I can really compare the factors that they have in column, make in common, making columns for each of their common factors and then figure out what the greatest common factor is that way and come back and then factor the expression. So let's start by looking at our first term our 39x to the second yz cubed. The term stops when I hit a plus or a minus sign in here. So with this, the numerical coefficient 39, we want to find its factors down to the prime factors. So we'll take 39 and we'll make a prime factor tree. Well, 3 goes into 39, and if you divide three by, um, 39 by 3, we get 13. Now 3 is prime and 13 is prime. So now we're going to write our term, our first term, 39x to the second yz cubed as, 39, write that as, 3 times 13. So I have 3 times 13 times x to the second times y times z cubed. Just writing all the factors of the first term. My second term is 26x y to the fourth z. Its numerical coefficient 26, when I take it down to its prime factors, well 2 goes into 26 13 times, and 2 is prime, and 13 is prime. So my 26x y to the fourth z factors as 2 times 13 times x y to the fourth z. So I want to make columns where if it's a factor that's common to a factor I got in a previous factorization, I line them up. Well, 26 is 2 times 13. I didn't get a factor of 2 from my first term, so I'm going to put 2 in a separate column of its own. But 13 I did, so I'll put it underneath the column where it has a factor that already occurred from an earlier term. With the variable factors, I'll put them underneath the column where their bases match. So x, I'll put under the x squared, y to the fourth, I'll put under the y, and z, I'll put under the z to the third, where their bases match. Okay, let's come to our third term, our negative 13xyz. Well, 13 is already prime, so it doesn't factor any further. We'll write our 13xyz. 13 as a numerical factor matches up with the 13 that we had in our previous two terms. With your variable factors, match the base, so I have x there, y, and z. Now once I've done all the terms in the polynomial, I'm just going to draw a horizontal line, and for my greatest common factor, it's the biggest factor that's common to all the terms. So it's got to be in every single one of those lines to be able to bring it down as a common factor. So I can't use a 2 because there wasn't a 2 factor in the first and third terms. I can't use a 3 because there wasn't a factor of 3 in the second and third terms. But 13 is a factor in all of the terms. x is a factor in all the terms, and I can only use it to the smallest exponent that I see. y to the first power, and then z to the first power. So my 13xyz is my greatest common factor for this particular polynomial. Let's write down the 13xyz. And then we open up parentheses. And we want to write inside what we get when we divide this common factor into each term. So when I divide 13xyz into 39x squared yz cubed, 39 divided by 13 is 3. Then x squared divided by x. Remember when you're dividing exponential expressions, you keep the base and subtract the exponents. So I have x to the 2 subtract 1 is the 1 power. For my y factors, I divided out y, and for the z's, I had z to the third, I divide out a z to the first, so that leaves me a z to the second. 
Now we're going to go to the next term. Divide 13xyz into 26xy to the fourth z. And I get positive 26 divided by 13 is plus 2. I divided out my x. For the y's, I'll have y to the third. And then I divided out my z. And then for the last term, negative 13 divided by 13 is a minus 1. And I divided out the x, the y, and the z. So that is all I have for that third term. Now I look inside the parentheses. It has three terms, but it doesn't have the right um, mixture of, fact, of variable factors in there that would allow me to factor it any further. So this factoring out the greatest common factor with what we have left inside is the final factorization of our original polynomial.